Hey guys, it's Ash here. Welcome back to another vlog. So, this weekend, oh my gosh, this weekend I'm going down to Atlanta to go to Momocon. I already have this monster packed, and I have that ready, and we're going to be meeting all kinds of cool voice actors. So, I'm hella excited, and so is that human, and yeah. Okay, so... See you when we get to Atlanta. Hey guys, um, I'm back from the car ride. It was a long one, but I actually managed to drive to Atlanta by myself, which is a perk. So yeah, I'm in my hotel room. We can do a mini tour. Why not? Sure. So it, it's obvious what this hotel room is. You got two beds here. Just beds, bathroom. A desk with a mirror, and that's me. Hold on. Hello. Hello, and my sister. Then you got a TV, and then here's the mecca. I'm gonna ask. Uh, Charlotte to sign for me because she's the voice actor of Diva. Got our wigs. My sister's bed is gonna go here. Uh, closet. And the most fun part this is always like the part where I always find it interesting because here we go. Bathroom. Nothing interesting about it. It's it's literally just like the basic. The tub is huge. Oh my though. god, that like, tub look is Look at huge. the tub. <laughs> like, I should have brought my bath bombs. <laughs> oh, that's huge. We could go buy bath bombs. We're in Atlanta. They're probably uh, around here somewhere. Yeah, there's probably a lush around here or there's something. Probably, like, more bath bombs, but but it has a pool, which we might get in. We might get in. We'll probably get in tonight sometime. Then you can come back and take a shower. Yeah. But yeah, the convention's right over there. Like, that building right there That's is, the convention building. is the con. There's a Chick fil A down there as well. That's really good. I highly advise it. We're probably going to have breakfast there. And I think it's actually like right next door to the convention center. Yeah, it is actually. And then like over here is the world of Coke, and that way, where that person is, no, <laughs> that way is the, um, the aquarium. aquarium. Yeah, simple little place. My, yeah. Do we're just watch? we're not dressing up today. We I might. Am? Well, she kind of is I technically. Technically, technically she but is, but. Not much. <laughs> I'm not. And I'm already losing my voice. I can feel it. Can you hear it? <laughs> yeah, because you were like yelling at the car. We were screaming in the car all day, singing songs. It was the best. But yeah. Why is there a bunch of coins on here? It was extra coins that I didn't want, so I kind of spent a spare game to be anywhere you wanted them. Okay. That works. <laughs> like, I was just like, alright, so I gotta get money. That's, That's down. Money. Okay. Like, I just, kept right. the, I just kept the quarters and a few dimes, and that was it. Yeah. Because that's right. really all I need. I want to try to call my sister again and stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. See you at the con.
I exist. I has cat because I'm home and cat is like, love me. Okay, so I'll start off with the first thing. I mean my soldier. My so soldier. Well, the soldier, yeah. <laughs> soldier. So technically, my sister got this. I want to show it off. Signature from Soldier76 himself. I'll read it out. Hey, Sarah, get off my lawn. All the best, 76. So, yeah, there you go. Take that. I go away now. I'm going to grab the rest of my stuff that I got. At the con. It's hard to scoot out the door when you're wearing socks. <laughs> We just like drove all the way home from Atlanta. It wasn't a bad drive at all. It was actually not half bad. Um, so I'll s we'll start with this. So I got a Diva Mech or a Diva Pop Funko Pop. That's what it's called, I think. I got one of these, and I'm gonna adjust that just a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, I got this. I like went online to hunt down the Funko Pop, and I got it signed by Diva herself says Ash nerf this love diva and it's Charlotte's name and then we'll go with this so I got a bunch of stickers I've already put them on my bullet journal um yeah that was like one of the main things I wanted from the con besides like the signatures from the artists is the um oh, okay bye Jerry is stickers for the bullet journal so I decided you know what I had I have other stickers I'll show you them I was thinking about like mixing it up with like just some of the other stickers and then Overwatch, but then I was like, eh, Overwatch. So we got all of them. I got Diva and Starbur from the same artist. I don't remember the names of the artist. I need. I had such a struggle trying to collect the names of the artists from everyone and everything that I got. So I do apologize if you see this video and you see that it's your art. Please just like comment below and I will like make a link and stuff and yeah in the subscription. Um, got my Mercy sticker and then I went with, um, I know these three stickers. I know who they were made by, a Neepy. Um, it's got a Diva and a McCree and Soldier because why not? I love all the characters from Overwatch. And then let's go to Prince. Um, well, let's go to the other stickers I got. And again, these are the stickers from artists. I don't know who they were from, and it sucks because I'm like, ugh, they're beautiful. But we'll start with the red panda. The red panda. I love it. It's so cute. The red panda. And then I got a galaxy cat sticker, which I love. It's so pretty. I wanted to put it on the bullet, this bullet journal, but then I was like, all Overwatch, which works. And then Leafeon. Because she's so cute. And she's actually, like, Leafeon's my favorite one from X, the X and Y series? No, the Sun and Moon series that I've been playing recently. And we'll go with the smaller print. So, an EP. Links. Good stuff. So, yeah, go check her out. She does, like, amazing art. I'm going to be completely, utter, completely and utterly honest. I got the somber print because somber is my main DPS main. Uh, you can tell there's a trend overwatch with this so yeah I'll put you there and then I have a ton of other bigger prints and I have like no room on my walls for these but I'm gonna have to make room so this will be very interesting so I got a diva print which as you can see it actually has like the other characters that were there for Memocon on it so that's cool this was also made by an EP, which I love it it's gorgeous. And then I had, I broke down. I had to get this image because Dad76, it's so cute. I love it. I love it so much. And then um, the last print I have, I got it from the voice actor of Mercy herself. And it's signed from Mercy herself. It says, Ash, hi Ash, heroes never die. Love, Mercy. Um, she also says you rock. So, yeah. I love it. It's so gorgeous. I love that she wrote in, like, gold Sharpie, which is amazing. And I also have... I gotta go find it. Come on. I'm not, like, unpacked yet. There it is. I got this. 
So this is a lanyard. I got it from Anipi as well. You could tell where I was shopping the most. <laughs> Not sorry. Um, but yeah, this lanyard, it's so soft and so nice. It's like amazing quality. Um, but she drew every Overwatch character on this twice. So like, yeah, pretty insane. And then this is the badge from Momocon and I got the back of it signed by Lucio. So yeah, that's all the loot and stuff that I got from this con. It's not, it's a lot of paper stuff, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't really want to buy like figures and all that other thing because I don't have shelf space and yeah, I don't know. Anyways, that was my Momocon vlog. I have I recorded a the entire Overwatch voice actor panel, which will be put up on my YouTube channel uh, probably later this week. I need to go through it. I might go and do some previews of it at the end of this video. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I was making sure that I have enough time when I get there to kind of just chill out for a bit and, you know, get a little more of that devil may care attitude in there. <laughs> Such a milky, buttery, <laughs> delicious, like, smooth. Oh, God. And then I think about being a little bit older, a lot older, and really caring about everybody, and yes, being a daddy. <laughs> In the spirit of looking back, um, if you all remember this, do you remember what your first reaction to seeing your character was when you finally saw them? Because obviously when we're doing auditions and stuff, you, you don't really know, and then we show you the art, we show you the stuff. So what were your first reactions to that? Holy shit! <laughs> what a badass. <laughs> Wish oh I could do God. that. Sorry. Oh, okay. oh my God, she's so cute! <laughs> uh, I was like, that's me? Uh, and then when I heard him with my voice, I was like, nobody's gonna believe that. <laughs> that. That was when it clicked in for me, because I actually remember seeing the art at BlizzCon the year you guys announced the original trailer before the auditions had gone out. And I was like, I want to be in this game so bad. <laughs> and I went over to the artist alley at BlizzCon and I saw the, the character spread and there's the cowboy in the far and I was like, I could do that. <laughs> That's the one I could do. And so I was just waiting for the audition to come through, and it was like a Blizzard unnamed game uh, for a cowboy character, and he had a different name at the time, and I was like, I wonder if this is the guy. I hope this is a guy. And then I looked at it, and I, I, got, a, I got a cowboy guy for Blizzard. And I walked in, he showed me the art, and I was like, I guess! <laughs> Who do you think would be the, uh, the most fun uh, Overwatch character to play D&D with? Well, obviously we got Reinhardt's the DM. That seems right, right? <laughs> 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 He's up to the DM again, that's Reinhardt. Oh my god. <laughs> Go for initiative! <laughs> 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 oh, no. I love Darren so much. Um, uh, oh man, I mean, I mean, Reinhardt would be the best person to play because everything would be so in your face the whole time. Um, you walk to the barkeep! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the, uh, you know, the part of the adventure where uh, the, the adventurers are trying to get the hook from the NPCs, I feel like Reinhardt would make that go real quick. Yeah, no, he just drives right through the narrative. <laughs> Tell me what you want me to know. <laughs> oh man, no, yeah, I'd say Reinhardt probably would be one of the most fun, definitely, if not Lucio. Oh yeah. Those two guys. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely, you know, gotta get someone to play that bard sometimes, right? Exactly! Be a damn fine bard. I'm in! Alright, cool. <laughs> about ships and how you feel about them, specifically McCree and Hanzo. Oh, God. <laughs> Leave that one for Mr. Mercer there. Yeah, exactly. Johnny, how's it hanging? What's up, Hey. hey. <laughs> In Heroes of the Storm, when D.Va was first released, I heard there was a couple of voice lines of you having, like, pickup lines and stuff like that. So I wanted to hear each and every one of your pickup lines. Michael, take notes. Put this in the game. <laughs> uh, I mean, sometimes we do so many lines, I don't remember, like... What would be your pickup? Whoa, what would be? Yes. Oh, man. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> Damn it. No, well, it's a <laughs> 
Tennessee, because you're the only ten I see. <laughs> 